gone to hell and then came back. <laughs> that exam, I'm sure he yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the village. My name is Moni. I create content around careers, education with a dose of reality check. If you are new to our village, uh, please make sure that you subscribe. Uh, it's free. Just press the subscribe button. It helps the village to grow. It helps us a lot. Okay. And if you find value in the content, you know, uh, please uh, like the video and share it with someone that might need it. Today, we are looking at actuarial profession. We have two analysts, an uh, actuarial analyst and one uh, actuary, the one that has done all the exams, the one that has gone through uh, all the hell, like gone to hell and then came back. <laughs> that exam, I'm sure, <laughs> but finally, uh, he is qualified. We are so delighted to finally have this payslip in uh, Lavu Village because I know we've been requesting it over and over again so what's going to happen in this video i'm going to share first um the two best slips i think maybe you might have seen them before but the reason i'm going to reshare them today is because i want you to have um just something in one video and also there might be other people who haven't seen the other two best slips but the professional the one who has gone through hell and back we are seeing it for the very first time Okay, we are going to start with the professional actuary, okay? Uh, just on purpose, we're going to start with that one, the long-awaited one. We are going to start with it, but I need you to note two things, okay? This payslip is from 2022, March to April 2022, okay? The reason for this, he just wants to share his current one, okay? But he's happy to share the previous employer, which is which happened in uh, this one took place March 2022, okay? So at this point of this pay slip, he had total years of experience, six, okay? Six years experience. Point number three, he had just qualified. This pay slip is from three months post-qualification, okay? He has done all his exams, all right? So just uh, bear in mind, okay? And he promised that once he move, moves from this job, he will share his uh, next pay slip with us okay and then he continues to explain i'm now a qualified actuary uh, in brackets f a w s a okay so i've completed all my exams i have been qualified for two years but this pay slip as mentioned earlier is from march april last year so I had only been qualified as, a, as an actuary uh, three months at this time okay but the total years of experience is six years sharp Cost to company 92,500 rands. Okay, but it says the cash salary is 85,700. Pay as you is 22,976. Uh, medical aid 4,660. Pension fund is 5,550. Okay, total earnings 85,703. Total deductions, 33,363. And then a pay of 52,339. How is the village feeling about this one? Remember, a uh, cost to company is 92,500 rents. So he did make, so leave some notes for me. Okay, so he mentions here, the choice for larger requirement savings in the pay slip was was a deliberate one i was contributing about ten thousand as per this pay slip medical aid four thousand four hundred sixty also a personal choice so this is probably more for someone who isn't very high risk uh, i wanted more medical aid cover and i was willing to pay more for it and just wanted to save more on retirement so i guess this net could be higher for people who does not want that much of your medical aid okay and savings okay so yeah guys uh net pay is fifty two thousand three hundred and thirty nine, and pension fund is five thousand five hundred and fifty all right all right all right all right all right now let's look at um actuary analyst okay uh so this one as well i don't know um 
they keep telling me that they will share like previous employer they don't want to share the current employer okay but it's fine we are happy with that because it just gives us an idea of what's going on out there so i'm not complaining i'm not complaining all right so this one the priest from 2021 he graduated with bsc actual sciences from the university of oh okay i'm not supposed to mention the university because there's quite a few of people few people <laughs> who are in this space so they don't want me to mention their university even the previous one he did not want me to mention his university okay so this place sleep i was a trainee analyst at a, in cape town i only worked there for six months i graduated with five exemptions and an average of 74 percent wow wow okay it's giving it's giving yo i'm a meditation yo imagine those army yo guys um so let's see how much he is getting okay bear in mind he had just finished school right he just graduated he was a trainee okay so don't panic and he was working for a small company he has moved now to a bigger company a insurance company in Joburg, and he shared with me that uh, he he earns double this amount but the basic salary here was twenty five thousand brands and he only stayed for for six months so guys it's okay you know don't be alarmed uh, he was a trainee as well no did no no benefits or anything he was just getting twenty five thousand rent uh, deductions uh, three thousand eight hundred and ninety seven and a net pay of twenty one thousand one hundred rand but he did mention though he didn't share the pay slip that where he works he gets a cross of forty six thousand rands how is the village feeling about that one uh, he's not qualified yet okay so we need to we need to remember that all right now let's go to the third and the last um actuarial actuarial uh, analyst okay <laughs> this one caused drama you know people were not happy about this one but let's just hear for those who don't know about this place mm -hmm. hi Bonnie, i really enjoy your content and i thought i should share my salary details with you to debunk any misconceptions about the actuarial profession which is hey these people they earn a lot <laughs> i'm an actuarial analyst who works for the insurance pillar of a bank and i have just over three years experience he works in the insurance bank three years experience i graduated with honors in actuarial sciences from that and i have two outstanding exams before i can be considered a qualified actuary most newly qualified actuaries have cost to company that's just under one million rights okay something to note here when someone is talking about exams these exams guys i think there is 22 of them in total uh please uh let us know in the comment section how many exams in total for you to qualify as an actuary but i think because i did interview you'll see the interview in january i, I had an interview with a quant uh, so they said it's about 22 22 exams okay so he says he has two exams left which means he's done a total of 20 exams okay so yeah let's see how much they are getting let's see hey but i know this bank <laughs> cash component 49,721 a uh, medical aid 1.5 uh, pension 5,000 rands PSUN 9,722 UIF is standard 177.12 uh, it's kept a uh, total deductions 14,991 and a net pay of 49,768. Okay. Um, what I'm seeing here, this cash co this uh, cash component, the basic salary, is quite similar to what the other guy shared with me that he is earning around 46,000 cross, you know. So it means that's the rate. That, that's that's where it's at. You know, that, that's where it's at. Uh, I'm not concerned, but some people were concerned. They said this person is underpaid. 
she did come back after i posted this payslip some time back in, on tiktok hi Wani, thank you for sharing my payslip clearly i'm underpaid let me update my cv and see if that girl can't get anything better on the market <laughs> You see why we share pay slips? You see why we share pay slips? <laughs> Do you see why we share pay slips? <laughs> Some people can say that they are underpaid. I wonder if there are people who can say that they are overpaid. I don't know. But um, yeah, we've come to the end of this video, guys. Please like and share with someone that might need it. And let me know what you would like to see, Kule Village. Uh, I'm, I'm never sitting in the center because i want to have space when i want to paste the paste lip so because if i'm in the center where am i going to put the paste lip okay but anyway guys um happy holidays uh, please take care of yourself uh, i'm going to be posting content uh, though it's december uh, i'll try and not um, break your heart too much yeah, well. but uh, if you would like to contact me my email address at gmail.com but please do not send me your cv I don't have jobs. I'm not a recruiter yet, but I'm hoping I'll be one in 2024. Bye.